this day, the eve of this rapturous completion, I honor those who have passed and whose passion and knowledge have brought us to the brink of salvation. Inquisitor Maligaro, a creative force without you. Sharon of Ambra, an athlete of transcendent sensibility. Duendri Dakta, an idol of fervor and dedication. You taught me far more than I ever taught you, my students. My friends, we strove to make a greater world together. And in your memory, I shall make that world a reality. Malachi. Not before. Exquisite. What an artist. I hate to be critical, but I've seen better. some standards. Slice away the ugly!
after Brutus. I'm glad I won't be seeing any more of your work. such a long way since we first met in Axiom Prison. I was that close to snuffing you out then and there, sister. But now look at us, working together to destroy the greatest terror that Rayclast has ever known. If I were the crying type, it'd bring a tear to my eye. to get to know it. What cannot be understood should be feared. It is the first rule that a child learns. There is no shame in my saying this. I fear you, witch. May fear guide you. It's obvious to everyone now. There's no one like you, witch. The beast learned that the hard way. And the whole of Ray class will learn about it, one way or another. So I guess this is the happily ever after they promised us when we were kids, right, Vanya? <laughs> for us, for Ray class, maybe. What about you, sister? Do you even know what that looks like for you? There's plenty of happiness to go around now. You deserve a piece of it. Bye. Which 
I knew you would embrace the beast. Yet, I couldn't know that you would squeeze the very life from it. Honestly didn't think you had that much love in you. Now one thing remains to be seen. Your regard, your touch, your embrace can mean only doom for the loved. Please, choose your loves wisely, witch. Lest you break poor Oriath's heart. Yes, that's right. Oriath. Upon the mountain high, a gateway has opened. One that shall lead you back home. Hurry. For as the death rose of the beast soften and still, I see the gate beginning to close. Follow your heart, which, no matter how dark it becomes, the corruption will pass. The little girl walked into a dark, dark cave. The little girl met a dark, dark beast. The little girl ate its dark, dark heart. My Malachi is dead. I knew it, felt it, understood it the moment you struck the final blow. I am, I was, the Gemling Queen. And now my king is dead. We dreamed only the greatest dreams, Malachi and I. A truly eternal empire, eternal life, eternal love, a future no longer afraid of the past, eternal lies. Eternal loss. Those are our true gifts to Rayclast. This land could not have asked for a worse king and queen. Rayclast leaves the past behind it now. Malachi's past. My past. It thanks you, not a cockroach. It loves you. I wish, I wish, I wish that I could do the same. They I was right to have faith in you, Cursebreaker. You have succeeded where we have failed. You have slain a creature that was thought to live forever in the minds of those who came before you. Vol, Dereso, Kaum, Deshret, the greatest champions Rayclast has seen in the last 300 years. You stood where they fell. Now you are the champion of champions, and Rayclast should bow at your feet in gratitude. You certainly have my gratitude and that of my Akara. We have been exiled from our land by fear and misguided duty. Now we may return to ride where we will, live how we wish. Cursebreaker, giver of freedom, we thank you. Go where you are needed.
Altitude is imperative to forging a stable connection with the prime resonator in Theopolis. Power source is equally vital. Locate a fissure in the mountainside and lower a conductive cable into it. The deeper, the better. It will take an immense amount of thaumaturgical energy to execute the successful disintegration and transmission of objects, both inanimate and animate, between Highgate and Theopolis. For that kind of power, we must tap the origin. I needn't remind you of the consequences should either of those elements prove deficient. That is why I would like you, Tavares, to be the first to test the resonator once it is operational. Accountability is a perfect counterweight to ambition. High Templar Dominus.
After everything I've done, it took an Oriathan to get these slaves up off their shackled asses and fighting. I guess the Templar should have treated their lessers better than their slaves, eh? Well, I'm not about to turn down a gift from Kitava. If he wants slave and outcast to join hands, then let's remind these Templar that they're flesh and blood, just like us. Utsula Makora is what they call me. I'm what passes for a chief around here. Well, I put the steel in their hands. I tell them where to stab, where to run, where to die. If that doesn't make me a chief, what does? Eh? Blood isn't the only currency we need to earn to buy our freedom. We can kill all the Templar mongrels we like out there. It won't matter a damn if we don't get inside their stronghold, the Templar courts. Might as well put my bloody chains back on right now. Problem is, there's some sort of witchery surrounding the place. Only those who see the truth with faithful eyes are getting there. The power of innocence. It's all in the eyes, you see. Yet blessed Kitava has answered my prayers and sent us just the pair of eyes we need. The ever faithful Justicar Casticus. He's there in the control blocks right now, smiting my people with self-righteous fury. Find him and rip his faithful eyes out. Then I'm sure the good Justicar will be kind enough to see you into the Templar courts. An exile returned? How is that even possible? Rising out of the darkness to claim the souls of our enemies like Hinekora in the stories my mother used to tell me. Well, your divine intervention gave us just the diversion we needed to take this tower. So if you keep doing things like that, then I might have to start believing in the gods again. And thank you for finishing off that last overseer for us. I don't know what sort of mother could have birthed that land-loving whale, but we were lucky he wasn't here when we took this tower. He'd have spread us across the floor like butter on a piece of bread. Here, take something for helping us in this hopeless fight of ours. Remember, we do this for freedom. Unlike these assorted ignorami, I'm not surprised to see you here. The beast is dead, all thanks to you, I suppose. I was listening to the beast's death rattles when these lunatics broke in, wrecked the place, and dragged me here to tend to their cuts and bruises. Thankfully, I was able to bring some of my paraphernalia with me. The balance of power is shifting in your favor, O oh murderer of nightmares. If I am in possession of anything that might smooth the transition of governance, don't hesitate to ask. You'll find my terms quite reasonable. Some time ago, I fabricated a device able to sense and amplify the corrupt murmurings of Rayclast, a miasmeter. I listened to those whispers for years, lingering beyond sane comprehension. And then the scream. Such profound agony that my mind was nearly sundered by its percussion. I thought another cataclysm might be upon us. But no, it was you slaying the beast. I was witness to a singularly potent cadence. This corruption I am convinced that it holds the very key to our human history, and with it, our very existence. Yet without the miasmeter, I am condemned to deafened ignorance. It remains in piety's laboratory, as long as Utula's miscreants haven't vandalized the poor thing. Find it. Tootles. <laughs> 